That's funny. Your phone is ringing too. Wait. <laughs> Kevin? Are you Kevin? Oh, yeah, kind of. But you don't look like my Kevin. Did you catfish me? No, I mean, I'm still me and everything. I just don't look like the photo. Why did you lie? I, I can't do this. You gonna answer that? No, I can't. Yeah, you can, man, I don't mind. I'm just glad you finally found someone. We could finish your game later. No, I seriously can't answer it. Why not? Well, I kind of sent her a photo of a different person instead of a photo of me. <laughs> Why'd you do that? She said she only dates guys who play football, and look at me. I clearly don't look like a football player. So you sent her a picture of another dude? Yeah, but everything else is true. I mean, we talk on the phone all the time, my personality is real and everything. So you're catfishing her? Catfishing? What's that? When you make a fake profile with somebody else's photos and pretend to be someone different online. But I'm being myself. It's just a different photo. But that's lying, man. You should really tell the truth. She likes you, and she likes you for who you are, not for what you look like or what sport you pretend to play. Of course you'd say that. Look at you. All the girls like you. That's not true. Just stay true to yourself and be honest. Anyways, my mom just texted me. I gotta go home and do some homework, but please be honest with her. I'm sure she'll like you for who you are. Yeah, maybe. I'll think about it. Oh, hey, Grace. Sorry I missed your FaceTime earlier. I was at a football practice. It's okay, I get it. Thanks for understanding. Oh, and I finally caught up on season two of Euphoria. Oh yeah? When Cassie got with Nate and did that to Maddie, I was so mad. Me too. I was like, really Cassie? She's such a bad friend. I can't believe I found a guy who loves Euphoria as much as me. I'm so lucky. We have so much in common. Not to mention you're super handsome too. Yeah. I know, babe. I can't wait to see you in person. Well, can we meet up after school tomorrow? I can meet you at the park and we can talk more about last night's episode. I'd really like that, but I have uh, football practice tomorrow. I can come cheer you on. I would love to see you in action. Oh, that's sweet, Grace. But seeing your cute face would distract me way too much. <laughs> Fine. Well, I better get to see your cute face soon, or else. Can we FaceTime now? Uh, I can't right now. My mom just called me for dinner. Coming, mom. Oh, okay. Well, text me, I guess. Bye. <sighs> hey, so tell me, did you finally tell that girl the truth? No, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. Grace just texted me. She's here at school. <laughs> what did she say? She said, Hey Kevin, I'm at your school walking towards the steps to surprise you. Are you done with football practice? I need to get out of here now. Well, it might be a good time to finally come clean. No way. Let's get out of here. Hi, are either of you Mason? Uh, yeah. Awesome, my boyfriend Kevin has told me so much about you. Um, I'm actually here to surprise him after practice. He told me you guys come here and hang out. Um, oh, Kevin, uh, he was feeling sick today at school. I think he went home early. Oh, that's weird. I'll just call him. That's funny. Your phone is ringing too. Wait, <laughs> Kevin? Are you Kevin? Oh, yeah, kinda. But. You don't look like my Kevin. Did you catfish me? No, I mean, I'm still me and everything. I just don't look like the photo. Why did you lie? I, I can't do this. I'm out of here. No, wait. I can make it up to you. You see that guy over there? He's actually on the football team. I can introduce you. I mean, 
I guess that's nice. He seems like my type. Okay, great. Hey, Chad! Hey, what's up? Hey, Chad. Anyway, this is my friend Grace from Wilson High. You two have a lot in common. Oh, yeah? Hey, Grace. Um, Want to hang out? You're pretty cute. Yeah, sure. I'd like that. All right, come on, let's go. That was like the worst case scenario. Shut up, Mason. So? What's your favorite TV show? I don't watch TV. I play video games. Oh, wait, no. Wait, hold on. I'm about to win. Oh, OK. So you've never seen Euphoria? <laughs> Euphoria? That's a dumb girl's show. Why would I watch that? Oh, OK. I <sighs> think it's time for me to go. Yeah. Good idea. You're making me mess up. I just lost. Sorry. Um, bye. How'd it go? Tell me everything. Well, actually, Kevin ended up not being the guy from the photos. What? He catfished you? Yep. And then he set me up with the school's quarterback to make it up to me. Sounds promising. That is your type. How'd it go? It was awful. He played video games the whole time. He hates TV, and you have nothing in common. I'm sorry, Grace, but you did hit it off with that Kevin guy at first. Yeah, too bad he lied to me. Yeah, and it's definitely not okay to lie. But you two had a lot in common. Maybe he was too insecure to send a photo of himself. You think he catfished me because he was insecure? Well, I guess I did tell him right off the bat that I only date football players. Why'd you say that? Because I do, but it never works out. Maybe it's time for you to date different types of guys. Maybe if I knew Kevin didn't play football, I wouldn't have gotten to know him in the way I did. And now you have the chance to get to know him for who he really is on the inside. You already get along with him. What does he look like? Now that I know who he really is, I've seen this photo on Instagram before. Grace, he is really cute. Yeah, I just wish he didn't lie to me. You didn't really give him an option. Maybe you should stop telling people that you only date football players and give these other guys a chance. Yeah, you're right. Can you take him back to the school, please? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Oh. Hey, Grace. Where's Chad? It doesn't matter. Can I sit with you guys? Oh, uh, sure. So, did you catch last night's episode? I saw some cool BTS photos on Instagram. Let me show you. Actually, I wanted to apologize to you. It's not okay that you lied to me, but I didn't actually give you a chance to be yourself, so. And I shouldn't have lied. I know that now. And I'm so sorry. I just figured that you wouldn't like someone like me. I never thought I would either, but we clicked and have so much in common. It's crazy. I shouldn't be so superficial when it comes to who I like, and plus you were nice enough to set me up with Chad. Well, yeah, he is the most popular guy at our school. That kind of stuff doesn't matter to me anymore. I've never felt a connection like this before. Can we just forget all this and start over? Really? I would love that. Me too. Now, show me those behind the scenes photos. <laughs> Mason, do you watch Euphoria? Yeah, but don't tell anyone. Then get over here. I have a prediction for next season. Eventually, Kevin and I started dating and we even went to prom together. He forgave me for prematurely judging him and I forgave him for catfishing me. I'm so glad we met in the first place and I wouldn't have changed anything. When you stay true to yourself, then you can form strong connections with others more easily. Make sure you surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you.
Hey, I truly hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to drop it a like. It truly means a lot to me. It helps out the YouTube algorithms and it makes you feel a lot better. Also, subscribe to this channel. We're growing quickly. We finally hit 1 million subscribers. Leave a comment. You know, as always, I love reading as many comments as I can and I reply to as many as I can. You can also follow me on Facebook where you see some exclusive content on there. And if you want to see behind the scenes, remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget to download the Samir Bhavnani app. It is available now on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. You can watch a lot of our premium content on there that isn't available on YouTube or any other platforms. And always remember to share this video to keep spreading positivity.